I really want to um, go back to the origins, to the okay. My Thought Coach. Like, how did this idea even come to be? I mean, right now it's like this revolution for people who are wanting to go, to go within and become a better version of themselves. But how did you get started? Well, it was back in the early days, actually, when podcasts were brand new. I don't know at what point you found me, but gosh, was it 99, 2000? It was 99, I think. And I had started a company called Fit DJ, which was guided workouts, HIIT workouts, because that research was new too. Um, and it was music and motivation to help people exercise using interval training. And it always ended with kind of a guided focus relaxation thing. And so I, I started, I put up a podcast of the workouts and the guided meditations and affirmations and was stunned when I thought the workouts were just going to go gangbusters, but it was the, um, it was the, my thought coach that really resonated at the time. And that's how I got started is I think I hit something that people were ready for it. Yeah. And my, I have a background in sports psychology actually. And so I was doing a lot of visualization with athletes and helping them not only with their fitness, but also their ability to focus. I had a son with a lot of anxiety at the time that I started writing. I had seen the ability that, yeah, I just, I had seen that in my own life. It started out so rudimentary in my closet with a piece of pantyhose to get like, to be my spit guard around my microphone, like in the back of my closet. So like all hundred of my children wouldn't break in. Like it was just, oh boy, what was I doing? I don't know. 